Can everyone please rise for the bread? Ayaka and Ryan's marriage today is the joining of their souls as love is one in their hearts. All of us seek to love and to be loved. When we find the right one, we are no longer just ourselves. We become partners in experiencing the joys and hardships of life. We expand as individuals. We create new environments. And as we journey into marriage with our significant other, we must remember to stay strong, have courage, patience, and a really good sense of humor. Those are the things we must keep in mind as we enter marriage, and that it is an opportunity to fall deeper in love each day. Ryan, we have shared a great deal in our friendship together through adolescence, teenage years, young adulthood, and now into our 30s. There has been a lot of laughter, growth, baseball talks, baseball games, and even some annoyances along the way, sorry. <laughs> but most of all, a unique bond and friendship. Ayaka, we met six years ago, and I've had the chance to get to know you through various stages of your relationship. Your compassion and care for Ryan and actions radiate when we spend time together. I've been lucky enough to take part in a few of your milestones, which makes this opportunity to be here a privilege. Over the last six years, I've seen you develop, grow, and mature as a couple. The first time I spent time with both of you was during a group karaoke night in Little Tokyo. While I could sense a spark in the beginning of your relationship and see the wonder of the unknown in your eyes, I could also sense the comfort and the care you had, and still have, for each other. Love was definitely in the air that night, and in your song choices. Thanks, Phil Collins. I realized then you two were right for each other because if your vocal notes can be in tune at Max Karaoke, then it's safe to say your marriage can be in tune. That is not to say there will never be challenges, and as in any relationship, you have to exp have experienced them as well. Relationships require openness and understanding, especially during the most trying times. I remember a time at a good friend's wedding when there was a moment of uncertainty and confusion between you two. But after speaking with each of you, I could see that you both wanted to understand each other. I could see that you both wanted to fix the issue at hand. It was an opportunity for growth and betterment of communication with each other, where the perspective of a friend, yours truly, helped you both understand each other. Please know that family and friends will always be there to support you. I'm happy to have been a reassuring perspective that helped strengthen the understanding and discovery between the two of you. When you both asked me if I would help you move from Long Beach into your newly purchased home in Whittier, I agreed without hesitation. Well, maybe I actually did check Google Maps a few times to prepare myself for the trek, but I made it. I vividly remember the excitement and glow in your faces. Your relationship confirmed as it appeared to be one of the happiest moments of your lives. We worked all day to move years of memories into a home to call your own to create new future memories with each other, family, and friends. Today marks a new chapter to continue building your lives together on a strong foundation of faith, smiles and laughter, adventures and fun, and more importantly, hard work, mutual respect, trust, and love. Your love has been nurtured and upheld by patience, persistence, and devotion to each other. Remember, life is not an easy journey and we are all only here for a short minute in the grand scheme. But through the good and the bad, we must embrace the journey. Each moment we are given is a time to celebrate and learn from each other. From the start, you two are perfect for each other. Thank you for allowing me a supporting role in your journey. 
We are gathered here today in this beautiful garden to participate in a traditional Japanese cultural and family custom called Hanami, which translates to flower viewing, but is more traditionally practiced by enjoying a day with family and friends underneath the blooming cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms symbolize spring, a time of renewal and beauty, but also reminds us of the fleeting nature of life. After their beauty peaks around two weeks, the blossoms start to fall. Their life is very short but beautiful. Just as life itself is short but beautiful, we must appreciate every person and every moment in life while they are here. Throughout our lives, we meet individuals who bring us together, and each one of us here are part of Ayaka and Ryan's story. For this reason, Ayaka chose this tradition as the theme of their wedding in recognition of how much their friends and family mean to them in their lives. It is also Japanese tradition to make a thousand cranes to bring about good luck and good wishes to their new marriage. If you look above towards this arc, you will see just that, 1,000 cranes folded by Ayaka and Ryan. They would like all of you to know these cranes were folded for health and happiness of their family and friends, as well as in remembrance for friends and family who could not be here with, be here with us today. Now Ayaka and Ryan will participate in a red string ceremony. This is not only a tradition in Japanese culture, but it is personally special to the two of them. In Japanese culture, this red string is commonly tied around the little finger and symbolizes that from the moment of their birth, the two individuals were destined for each other. For Ayaka and Ryan, they have learned that the red string connects all of those that have been part of their story, leading them to their destined marriage. So as we have been part of their story, they would like to share their commitment to each other by tying the red string to each other in front of all of us. <laughs> Good. This red string signifies that Ayaka and Ryan were already united and didn't know it, but were fated to be together. They were destined to be lovers, regardless of time, place, or circumstance. At last, they found each other and realized they were meant to be together. They would like to now exchange their own vows to each other. Well, they are held by the red string of fate to reaffirm their commitment to each other here today. My dearest Ryan, you are truly my best friend. Damn it. <laughs> my light, my partner in crime and adventure. <laughs> and most of all, the love of my life. You balance me in every way and are there for me every day. <laughs> Even when things get scary and difficult. Before I met you, I never knew where my life would go, what kind of future I wanted, but it's amazing how one person changes that in a heartbeat. I can't believe how lucky I am. I need this. <laughs> I can do this. To have a kind, considerate, strong, and incredibly loving man as my soon-to-be husband. From selflessly helping me with puppy and family emergencies to finding our first home together. Um, we have gone through so much and I really can't wait for the next stage of our life. The adventures we'll have, discovering new places, the different ways we will remind each other how much we love each other and creating our own family traditions. I can't wait to live my life with you 
to still hold hands, cuddle and giggle when we are grandparents. I really can't wait, and I vow that every day I will be there for you and support you, but most of all, love you with all of my heart as you have and continue to love me. I love you so much, Ryan. Ayaka, I love you for so many reasons. I love you for the kindness you always show me, how considerate you are of my well-being, your openness towards me of your past, and how are you feeling in the present. I love the passion you have for your family, your career, because it shows me the love and commitment you have for others. I love the time we spend together and the memories we create. I always want to learn more and more about the person you are, what shaped you, and where you want to be in the future. But I also want to shape that future with you, to create a long, loving, and beautiful life together. I want to continue creating memories that we can share with family, with our children, and with our grandchildren. I love you so much that I know strongly within my heart that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I admire the person you are and recognize all the obstacles you've had to overcome. I admire how open you are with your feelings and you inspire me to do the same. I want you to know that I will always try my best to do what's right for us. I will always love you and try to show that love. Our marriage is a new life. It is a promise that we will be as one, recognizing our separate past but creating a single future. Uh, I have often heard marriage described as seeing the world in a whole new way, like seeing the world in black and white and then suddenly seeing it in color, or seeing everything in two dimensions, like a photograph, and then seeing it in three dimensions, like actually standing where that photograph was taken. I am ready for my world to change, to see it anew, and can hardly believe I am so fortunate it will be with someone as wonderful and as beautiful as you. I promise to be there for you, always, in the good times and the bad, all the days of our lives. I know I've said this many times before, and, but it's among the truest things I've ever said, that I love you so much with all of my heart. And I vow that I will remain one of the, tr it will remain one of the truest things I ever say. To remember this day, Ayaka and Ryan will now tie the string onto a statue symbolizing their marriage. Let us now have the rings brought forward by the best man and ring bearer. Ryan, as you place the ring on Ayaka's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. With this ring? I marry you and bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love. It is a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promises of all my tomorrows. And the promises of all my tomorrows. Ayaka, as you place the ring on Ryan's finger, please repeat after me. 
With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love. It is a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of my tomorrows. And the promise of my tomorrows. <laughs> Throughout this ceremony, Ayaka and Ryan have vowed in our presence to be loyal and loving towards each other. They have formalized the existence of the bond between with words spoken and with the giving and receiving of rings. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. For the first time, it is my pleasure to announce Mr. and Mrs. Simmons Munikata. <laughs> <laughs>